Hi, Mark Chandler from Southern Patio Enclosures. In this video, we're gonna walk you through how to install your new motorized patio enclosures. Please watch the video in its entirety. It should answer all your questions, but if you do have any questions, you can also refer to the instruction manual that was sent or give us a call, 512-782-8787. Thanks again for choosing Southern Patio Enclosures. We will always orient your job from the outside looking in and number your curtains starting from left and working right. Here we have five curtains labeled as shown. You may also reference your curtain template that was emailed to you after your design consultation. Your curtains, roller tube, hood, side track, and U-channels will all be numbered according to where they will be installed. To begin, lay your package on a flat surface with the weight bar on top. Carefully remove the foam protectors at the end of the housing. Carefully cut the tape holding the weight bar to the housing. Gently lay the weight bar on a flat surface. Remove the hex screws that hold the cover to the housing. Set these aside for step 9 when the housing cover is replaced. Carefully remove the cover and place it gently on a flat surface in a safe place. You can use the plastic packaging to protect it from scratching or chipping. With pliers or a screwdriver, remove the two white plastic clips that hold the motor in the motor bracket and set them aside in a safe place. You will need these clips when you reinstall the motor into its hood. From the other end of the roller tube, remove the pin holding the tubes in its housing. Also put this in a safe place as you will need it when you reinstall the motor. Gently remove this end of the roller tube by sliding the bearing out of the U-bracket. As you remove the motor end of the roll tube from its housing, be very careful to grasp both the cord and the motor assembly and pull all together. As you move the motor, always place your hand on the end of the motor to keep it from sliding out of the roll tube. Set the entire roller tube and motor aside on a safe, flat surface until they're ready to install. Refer to your design consultation to determine if your curtains will be face mounted, also known as outside above header OAH as labeled in your documentation, or under mounted, inside under header IUH. If your curtains will be mounted outside above header of your structure, drill your holes in the back of the housing, the same side that has the fringe. If your curtains will be mounted inside under header to the top of your structure, IUH, drill your holes in the top of the housing opposite the side that has the fringe. In this installation, we will be demonstrating an inside under header installation. Drill your holes at the middle of the housing and every 24 inches towards the ends where they will attach to the header. Drill three 3 16 mounting holes at each end of the housing for additional support. If an inside underheader mount, drill through the end caps. If an outside above header mount, drill through the back of the housing where the fringe is. Drill a 3 8 inch hole on the motor side of the housing for the power cord closest to your electrical outlet. Measure and mark the middle of the housing. Measure and mark the middle of the header where the housing will be mounted. Level the housing and loosely fasten with a 2 inch metal or wood screw. 
Before tightening the screws to the header, attach the front cover to the housing to ensure the top and back housing assembly is not bowed and you're able to satisfactorily attach the front cover. Once this is done, remove the front cover and tighten the fasteners. Insert the motor into the motor bracket so that the pins of the motor sit in the slots of the motor bracket. Carefully hold the motor end in place while your partner aligns the idler side of the roll tube. Use the idler pin to align the holes in the U-bracket and idler bushing. Remove idler pin and drop the idler bushing into place. Reinsert the pin through the U-bracket and idler bushing. Replace the two white plastic clips removed in step one into the motor bracket to secure the motor into place. Using a pair of pliers, bend the back side of the idler pin down to lock it into place. Measure the height from the floor to the bottom of the housing and use this measurement for the side track and U-channel heights. Measure and mark on the side track the desired height, making sure to trim the bottom of the track and do not trim off the top notch. The curtain is installed into the track via this notch. Using a circular saw, cut the bottom of the side tracks and U-channel to the measured height. Disassemble the electrical plug from the motor. Run the cord from the motor through the pre-drilled hole in the housing. Cut the electrical cord to the desired length, stripping approximately one half inch of the wires. Attach the wires to the plug as shown here and secure with a Phillips head screwdriver. Reassemble the plug casing. Plug the assembly into the nearest outlet. Select the appropriate number on the remote that you want to assign to that curtain. Wake up the motor by simultaneously holding the up and down buttons on the remote within 6 inches of the motor until the motor jogs. Check the direction of the motor. The motor should turn the roller to feed the mesh from the back of the unit. If the motor is not turning in the proper direction, hold the center button on the remote until the motor jogs. Lay your curtain out and determine the top from the bottom and the front from the back. The top of the curtain will have an adhesive hook and loop fasteners. They will adhere to the roll tube to help hold it into its place. The bottom of the curtain has a white tab that will insert into the bottom weight bar. Slide the top of the curtain into the groove on the roller tube until the curtain is completely centered on the roller. Pull the mesh taut to prevent wrinkles. Then use a self-tapping screw to keep the screen in place on the roller. Make sure that it is recessed completely in the slot so that it does not create a wrinkle on the mesh. Check to make sure the spline does not overlap the large roller to avoid the screen from rolling up uneven. Fold under the white tab at the bottom of the curtain and slide the bottom edge of the curtain into the groove on the weight bar. Slide the weight bar all the way across the curtain, making sure it is centered. Secure the weight bar to the curtain with the screws provided. Trim off the excess spline with a sharp razor. Pre-drill holes every 24 inches into the U-channel. Install the U-channel directly underneath each side of the housing to the side support post with the appropriate 2-inch screws. Slide the side track onto the bottom of the curtain's edge, then use the remote to drop the curtain down, sliding it all the way down the length of the track.
stand the side track all the way on its edge and slide it into the U channel. Raise and lower the curtain while it's in its track. Adjusting the track is necessary to make sure the curtain is neither too taut or too loose. Secure the first side track into the U channel with the number 12 3 quarter inch self tapping stainless steel screws approximately every 3 feet along the track. After the first side is secured, slowly raise the curtain up, stopping the weight bar approximately at the level of each already secured screw. Then secure the opposite side track at that height. Raise the weight bar again to the next already secured screw and secure the second side. Continue all the way to the top of the track. Replace the housing cover loosely over the top of the housing. Locate the housing cover screws removed in step one and secure the housing cover. Caulk, if desired, along the U-channel or any open gaps. Bring the mesh to the desired bottom limit by using the remote control. When desired bottom limit is reached, press and hold the up and stop buttons simultaneously until the screen moves upward. Stop the screen by pressing and releasing the stop button. Raise the screen all the way up to 6 inches below the housing. From there, raise the mesh to the desired top limit using the remote control until the desired top limit is reached. Press and hold the down and stop buttons simultaneously until the screen moves downward. Stop the screen by pressing and releasing the stop button. Once both limits are soft set, press and hold the stop button until the motor jogs, then release button. Program the remote by holding down the program button on the back of the remote until the motor jogs. Your motor is now programmed. Test each limit by running the screen completely up and letting it stop on its own. Then running the screen completely down. If the limits are not acceptable, see your written instructions to change them to the appropriate limits. Operate the screen, running it up and down a few times for a final inspection. That's it. Thanks again for choosing Southern Patio Enclosures. I hope you enjoy your new patio.